Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so we can hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and stories as and when it happens. So today's video is a little bit different as we are in the international break, the final international break of 2022. And I thought I'd have a look at uh, five players across the leagues that are impressing me so far this season and are having absolute uh, standout years respectively uh, for them. So uh, we'll start off with Eva Pajor at uh, VFL Wolfsburg having an absolute fantastic season so far. Uh, the 25 year old has already got 12 goals and 3 assists in 11 games this season and is looking absolutely phenomenal. I mean, considering that Wolfsburg team is packed full of players, you've got the likes of Alex Park, Bajor Rod, Lena Oberdorf, just to name a few in that team. But for me, Puyol, week in, week out, is putting absolute 10 out of 10 performances and looking fantastic so far this season. I mean, if we look back to the weekend just gone, she scored two goals in their 4-0 victory against uh, Duisburg and is looking really, really good. Obviously, got a couple of years left on her contract at Wolfsburg and with Wolfsburg being one of the top teams in Europe, you would want to see her carry on there and... <clears throat> progress but yes yeah, she's having an absolute fantastic season and it's standing out to me a lot more than I thought maybe uh, she would do again I was expecting her to be amongst the goals and contributing to wins for VFL Wolfsburg but I wasn't expecting her to have this much of an impact so early on in the season and it's absolutely uh, phenomenal to see how much of an impact she is having for uh, Wolfsburg in uh, the league and uh, Champions League as well absolutely fantastic season so far uh, the next player we are going to have a look at is Guru Wrighton of Chelsea and she is having an absolute solid season. I think she can easily go down as probably the midfielder of the season for me so far in the WSL. Seven games played, six assists already and she's just lapping them up for fun left, right and centre. And she's already got four in the Champions League and Chelsea have only played two games. Uh, absolutely astonishing in Chelsea's second game against uh KF Flasnia where she managed to get all four of her assists and yeah it was just an absolute stunning performance there. Now obviously Sam Kerr and Penilla Harder took the limelight in that game for both scoring a hat-trick but Guru writing in what was I believe at her 100th appearance for Chelsea uh, on that game uh, providing four assists just what a performance from the Norwegian midfielder and absolutely brilliant again another player that's got a few years left on her Chelsea contract and I'm sure Emma Hayes and uh, the rest of that Chelsea uh, team will be working on a way of keeping Wrighton at Chelsea for a very long time looking absolutely phenomenal this season and for me definitely uh, easily getting a uh, player of the year in the midfield option and would walk into my team of the year if we was to stop the season today. Absolutely fantastic. Um, then our next player is we're heading over to Spain and Aitana Banmati of Barcelona. Again, another player who I think many people will know of and as a really solid midfielder, but I think in the absence of uh, Alexia Poteas in that Barcelona midfield, I feel like Bonmati has really stepped up and taken that role over of being like the world-class midfielder. Now, I'm not saying she wasn't prior to Poteas' injury, and obviously uh, those who watch uh, Liga F week in, week out will know that Bonmati puts in strong 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 performances week in, week out in that strong Barcelona side. But for me, when the absence of Pateus was there, obviously they went out and managed to get Kira Walsh and obviously they were looking at other players that were rumoured to be potentially joining them, like of Jill Rod and Erin Cuthbert. But I feel like Walsh has settled in nicely and then the partnership she has going with Bon Matti has just made this Barcelona midfield fit so seamlessly and I think she's doing a really fantastic job, Bon Marti, of just helping uh, the team go along and continue their phenomenal run of being the best team in Spain. Again, a player that's got a few years left on her contract, 2025, all of these players so far, and looking really, really good uh, for Barcelona. And obviously, she's not going to light your numbers with goals and assists because she's only got one goal so far in Liga F, but the way she controls that midfield for Barcelona is absolutely fantastic. And I think it's really something that many people who are like young and upcoming players should really look into inspire to become that position because and watch 
clips of Valentina Belmonte, even if you can't watch Liga of Games, watch them when Barcelona playing the Champions League and she's just an absolute stalwart in that midfield and is absolutely uh, doing cracking this season. Next we're heading back over here to the WSL and for me Manchester United fullback slash defender Maya Letizia. The way Letizia has just slid into this United defence, been absolutely solid so far, played in all of their WSL games and she looks like she's been at the club from the start when they were formed in 2018. Now some players when they join teams they take a while to get used to the team and takes them a while to get into the rotation, uh, ducking and diving out of games, well not diving out against but ducking in and out of games uh, due to selection and having struggling time to settle in but for me Letizia coming in from Brighton now obviously it is a bit of a step up from Manchester United uh, from Brighton to Manchester United a team that are looking to progress potentially be challenging for the Champions League and even the title uh, and I think Letizia has just slotted in so naturally uh, at United so far this season and has looked absolutely fantastic and it's one of them where her uh, good performances so far has been obviously rewarded we've now been called up to the first uh, team uh, England for the first time in her career and I think she's just going to keep going from strength to strength this season. I'd expect her to provide more assists as the season goes on and put in some more strong performances at the back to help Mark Skinner's side along the way in terms of becoming a top team in the WSL. And I think we'll see Letizia really fighting for that spot. And what makes it even better for Manchester United, it's a World Cup year, so you know Letizia will definitely want to be uh, a player there at the World Cup with Serena Wiegmann's side and I think if she continues her performances this season then it's definitely going to be yeah we'll see her definitely in and amongst that uh, 23 to 26 players selected for uh, England when they travel to Australia next uh, next summer and the final player I'm talking about obviously the levels are dropping off a bit because obviously the Dutch uh, Eredivisie isn't as strong as those divisions but uh, we've got to look at Romy Leuchter so far in the Eredivisie Frauer absolutely phenomenal the 21 year old has already got eight goals and three assists in six games for Ajax this season as they sit atop of the Eredivisie again young Dutch striker scoring the goals now obviously we all know what Vivian Miedemar can do over there and has done for the Netherlands. You can look at Fener Kalma as well. Like the Netherlands have been producing really good uh, young Dutch strikers and I think the way Romy Lecht has been playing so far this season and going back to last season uh, really is case in point the way I think within the next 12 months she will be getting a move to either a WSL team or uh, a team in like the Bundesliga or all over in Spain because she's just such a proven goal scorer so far. And yes, the, like I said, the competition comparisons between the WSL and the Frauen Eredivisie are light and day different. However, she is a striker to me who definitely knows where the goal is and how to score them. And uh, I think if you put her in any team, she will get the goals as long as she's been being provided with the stuff. So um, it wouldn't surprise me come January or come uh, the summer window we see a few teams try and make a move for Roma Lerta and help them fire them over the line and I think she would do really well in any of the teams uh, that she could potentially move to. Right, that is who I think are five players impressing me so far this season. Let me know in the comments who you think is impressing you so far in the season. It doesn't just have to be in the WSL, it can be in the Frauen Bundesliga, the Eredivisie, Frauen uh, Serie A, Feminale, Liga F in Spain, any of the divisions, let me know in the comments who you think is impressing you the most so far this season. And like I said at the start, make sure you subscribe so we can get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. And that you are following us on Twitter and on Instagram for all the latest news and stories as and when it happens. And until next time, we'll see you soon.